story time. So you and your buddies are hunting this pond. Been doing all right. You drew a short straw, because let's face it, a lot of my hunting scenarios end up being like two guys are in a bar the night before. And so this isn't all that. You drew the short straw, left your coffee back up in the truck. And your job to go hook back up to get the coffee. You come back. And while that's going on, one of your other buddies is over here relieving himself. And the birds are coming birds are coming in and he's gonna do the unspeakable, which is he's just gonna start shooting at them before they even and, and take the, take away the great decoy and pleasure over here. That being said, the bird's gonna come in, it's gonna drop right to left up on that side hill. The birds swing around, everything starts happening. Next bird coming right out of the middle, going left to right. Then kind of at the base of that oak tree out there with the Spanish moss. And then lastly, you're going to get a big old purdy flyer going up, angling the corner of the pond. Pick them up in any order when you're done, because your buddies are such good shots, and they don't hunt with Jerry Mann, who's not a good shot. <laughs> your blind is basically from here a water blind. If you look at the little point, past the little point there where that little tree is sticking up, there's a piece of bunch grass and you can see the stake. You blind in your marks and want you in this little box here to run, set the dog and run the dog from. You have to handle, obviously, we'll give you lateral movement. 